what it is, what's up, fucking wrong intro on the cut, uh, Biscuits from Heaven back with another, uh, video, and honest to God, the hardest part when it comes to doing anime, uh, related reviews versus manga related reviews, if you want to see my Attack on Titan manga reviews down the channel, uh, probably be, I think the most recent video, uh, next to this one, is that you have not really too many things you can show. Like, I've literally gotten copyrighted strike in just about any anime video I've done. If you guys want to get around that, let me know. But for the most part, like, you can just flash something real quick and get away from it real quick. Uh, and you kind of get away with it. But anyway, uh, see, episode two, uh, I did episode one, I think. I think I uploaded a month after it came out, like, last week. And uh, I watched it the same day. This, I just watched episode two. I'm trying to catch up um, to the Gabby episode. If you're a manga reader, which I am, you know what the Gabby episode is. And um, I'm just pretty much going to skim through like these. So hopefully they're pretty short and to the point. Uh, just really giving my thoughts. And starting with, uh, starting with number one, <laughs> a funny quotable uh, offhanded by who appears to be a commander this guy right here i don't know him necessarily up top of my head and i honestly got to remember most of the early uh manga i've read the this entire arc and it's entirely than a manga i started reading the manga i believe when rod rice uh is about to try to eat historia i think that's when i first got onto it um or his story's about to eat aaron my bad so, yeah, so that's when I got into it, and, um, yeah, going along with that train of thought, um, I'm fucking stupid girl trying to flame me on tw Tinder. Listen, man, if you're a female trying to roast somebody, dog, you, you gotta make sure you, you go on with the right one, man. You, I think, man, you, you gotta, this is off topic, but men have a social, like, at least ugly men like me. Most ugly men have been through so many things, have heard so many things. We're like brick walls at this point, dog. And when you get to a certain point, a lot of women get coddled. A lot of ugly women even get coddled. A lot of ugly women with nice bodies definitely get coddled because they don't usually get mentioned, you know, the face part of their body of work. And, you know, it, it's just a simple fact of the matter is I'm not trying to be, you know, like, make, sh make sure my shit recording. I'm not trying to be like misogynistic and like that. But if a woman starts cooking on Tinder, dog, you got to reply in kind. I'm not going to get cooked on a dating app. If it's about five of you and one of me in real life, I may throw a couple barbers, but that's a losing battle. You know, black women can roast. But if it's just one on one, that's 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 an unfair advantage. You know, that's like Shaq against Draymond Green, dog. I'm Shaq's situation. And I don't want to be I don't want to ever have to roast a woman. I never want to have to do that. But you know, this woman's she had a couple jabs. Uh, you know, I had a couple of uh, Jake Pauls, though. Jake Paul and Nate Robinsons, you know, so, you know, it's, it's, jabs don't work. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. We're going to go to number two. But number one, I really like the, the pretty much all these episodes and the intros and the outros have done literally all they possibly could do to heavy-handedly state to us manga readers, and I believe this is for the manga readers, how important um, Falco, oh, shit, I can't say Fuck. I can't say that. <laughs> I'm so, okay, let me let me reveal. If you're an anime only watcher, forget everything I just said because they have no correlation with each other. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Anyway, there, there is a correlation between the the birds and a very important um, entity that will come later on in the series. But just know that all these wing references do matter quite a bit. I wish I didn't say that. Number two, uh, Zeke is a hell of an order. So going from here to this point on, uh, Zeke has a couple of pretty landmark scenes. Uh, he does a good job of convincing the already pretty downtrodden commander that they need to reattack Paradis. Uh, he has a really good scene uh, just with dialogue uh, right after where he's joking with, I believe, Colt, I want to say, or somebody like that, either Colt or somebody. And he also has another scene when they kind of come together like... Uh, like Kira and not Kira, L and Death Note to kind of try to talk about um, the the happenings in a room that you know that may not be bugged or at least they're trying to speaking a uh, language 
into which even they it was bugged. Nothing of value could be divulged. So Zeke is just, I would say, you know, he. I think most of what he's shown is already uh, aspects that we know that he had he possesses. But he's kind of like that calm, cool, and collected dude that you know, if you give him a lead in the game, he's not giving up the deficit. And right now he's playing ahead. Um, as best as they know, they're going to be getting the drop on uh, Paradis again. And simply put, Zeke is a very uh, interesting individual, very charming, charismatic, uh, everything that you'd want out of who has been pretty much the primary antagonist for, what, four seasons now? Three and a half seasons. Number three is that Zeke's first reveal that he's a son of Grisha. So when you go back to that same panel I was talking about, when you, or not panel, I, listen, I'm so used to the manga, or that last one where he's, this one right here, I don't, is that the first time that he revealed that he's the son of, I don't know if he talked to Aaron, I believe that the first time he talks to Aaron as, you know, brothers is in the um, moments where he's incarcerated after um i think i think it's after the attack and they recover zeke i think that's what happens oh should i be okay well that okay that's that's a spoiler alert. all right that was a pretty big spoiler alert. all right <laughs> yeah all right all right now right. it's a pretty big spoiler alert. my bad uh <laughs> we're gonna keep on going uh, so <laughs> too, too many massive spoiler alert so far. All right. I'm not, I said I was going to, I wasn't going to edit this before I came into it. So I'm sorry that if you sneak through the crowd, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to warn everybody ahead of time that this is for manga readers. So I'm going to lose a couple of views because of that, but I don't want to spoil any anime only watchers. That's going to be my sacrifice to you. Number five. Um, am I recording still? God, this fuck is going on forever already. Galliard is like an asshole. Um, Galliard, um, the brother of Falco, if I remember correctly, and the Jaw Titan uh, looks like an asshole. Number six, uh, I swear to God, I don't remember Zofia or Udo doing a single noteworthy thing. To be honest with God, with you, when they had the first um, chapter, uh, first uh, episode, first episode i didn't remember who these two people were i just remember gabby and falco i don't like i don't know if udo gets his fucking head knocked off and sophia gets like eaten by a titan or some shit i don't remember what happens with them but i don't remember them doing anything of note and i can tell you right now uh that probably means a lot for a manga reader if he doesn't remember two of those those guys uh seven peak is so depressing Let's see if i can find what i'm trying to refer to bro look at this i this, Give me a thumbs up. I've perfectly found every scene that I've wanted to mention off of one click in a 30 minute production. A 23 point, you know, 24 minute production. You know understand how hard it is to find exactly what you want to find every time? That's not easy. Give me a thumbs up because of that. Tell me this woman doesn't like a, 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 a beaten wife, a battered wife. She looks sad every time she's supposed to be happy she reminds me of kawakami from persona 5 just beaten down by life or the teacher from torador just sad permanently and that's not like a domestic abuse joke like that's not that's not my lane but she looks like a better wife rainer oh yeah peak okay so my last one is rainer becomes so nuanced if you go to you know the bipolar disorder that i think rainer suffers through uh, it's actually pre like done pretty well, like communicated well in the manga. Isayama is immaculate communicating dialogue. I think sometimes his chapters are a little bit too weighty for me. Like a little bit too many, too many things happens in any given panel. It kind of throws it off sometimes, especially in like moments of battle or a lot of movement. But um, just as well as Isayama does it in the manga, they do an amazing job with um, kind of the camera scenes and how. You kind of like if you look here, it's intentional, like, like kind of like I don't want to say blurriness, but like kind of like a warbling effect on his shirt, and like, it's shown even in the cinematography, like he's really focusing. It's kind of like things are sh shaking in his mind as he's remembering everything that's happened 
um, everything that's happened to him. It might also just be my sh my MacBook quality being a shit. I don't know, but like L the cinematography and then the reaction of everybody around him who's been kind of bought into this whole Eldia bad, we good, uh, rig rigmarole. Rainer's pretty much the first person ever that's been on this um that that's been as high highly ranked in the military as he has been that's had these thoughts of like you know the LDS aren't the worst people all the time that's kind of what he leads on to and then gabby who is pretty deep into this we need to rectify ourselves um i mean they're they're Eldians that have kind of like try to bury that that whole um part of them down to kind of rectify themselves and you know, Rainer puts on the same front as as his mom does in talking to Gabby. Um, I think that might not load. But he puts the same front on when he's talking to Peak, not Peak, uh, Falco, to try to, you know, persuade him to actually keep on shooting and spying for the Titan instead of just allowing Gabby to have it. Gabby being Falco, uh, Rainer's sister, obviously doesn't want Rainer to have it. You know, the, I have to struggle with the same shit that Rainer went through. So Rainer just becomes such a nuanced character. If there's any guy that I would say on the first half of this saga looks like a winner, um, it's, it's going to be Rainer. Even, you know, I haven't gotten to three, four, five. I think it's at six now at this point. I haven't gotten to them yet, but I can tell you right now, Rainer is the winner of the character development arc uh, award. Uh, to this point now i think the camera kind of shifts off of him to other guys after we get to a certain point i'm not gonna say what it is if you're still an anime watcher uh that's watching this but it's gonna shift away from him he's gonna become less important for a while but it's because of just the narrator it's, this isn't the rainer show so you know a reiner this isn't the right i wanted to say that number nine reiner that's all i wanted to say reiner there's a reiner i'm not calling him reiner but you know shout out to reiner Reiner won this episode, uh, has won the two episodes so far, him and Zeke. Fuck Gabby. I still hate Gabby, even though this anime has done an amazing job of developing Gabby. And you all hate Gabby today. This is recorded. This is recorded. My brain was recording this episode yesterday. This episode is actually being recorded February 1st on Monday. But I'm with all you guys. That I know hate uh, Gabby because I saw Sasha and Gabby trending on Twitter. And you all know what that means. Alright. 